Fuzzy, I'll be up there in a second. Just hang out with Ennard if he's home or jump on the bed. You like doing that? Oh my goodness, I just need a second of a break. But <sighs> What are you doing? Watering the plant. I don't see a watering can in your hand. You know how one finger's uh, my lighter? The other one's a little watering can thing. The more I talk to you, just the weirder you get. But whatever, carry on. I just need a break for a second. <sighs> Everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. It's just, I mean, between uh, babysitting Gregory yesterday and now Lizzie's been here for the past couple of days, I, between you and I, I think something's kind of going on with her and Gregory because Gregory's been spending a lot of time with Cassie as of late. So I think Lizzie hasn't been spending as much time over there and she has to go somewhere. So she comes here to hang out, but... And I'm just constantly on babysitting duty. It's just a never-ending cycle. I guess that's to be apparent. I mean, besides Gregory, she felt the most comfortable around you after you guys got over the supposed thing that happened. Yeah, but that's the thing, Freddy. I'm not a parent. I'm just... I don't know. Yeah, no. I, I get it. I get it. And let me guess, you've just been craving some me time as of late. Basically, I mean, well, Ennard for the most part is self-sustainable. That's why it works with him and I. I don't know. I just, I need a break. To be fair, I don't think you necessarily need to look after her. I mean, she's a ghost. She doesn't need to eat, sleep, or drink anything if... Yeah, I mean, that's a good point and all. It's just, I can't really explain it. And you probably are going to think I sound crazy for this, but I, I, I kind of feel responsible for her. I, I like a big sister almost just because, I mean, William Afton is kind of the one who, you know, made me and also he made her. Technically, I don't know how human science works, but no, I, I get it. I get it. It's not an easy thing That's for sure that you're going through. Yeah, so it's fine. I'll I'll get over it. I just definitely need some circus baby weird What? I don't know. Just speak of the devil. Uh, William Afton is currently calling me um, I'm, I'm gonna take this Okay, I didn't even know I had his number saved, but uh, apparently I do so uh uh, hello? I'm on my way. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what do you mean you're on your way? I'm informing you that I am on my way. Oh, is this because typically I complain? You told me specifically to inform you before I come over, so this yeah. is me saying that I am on my way. For I did say that. You're you're right. Um, and It's just unfortunately now is kind of a really bad time for you to come over, so uh, maybe can we reschedule for like tomorrow or something? Sometimes a bad time is best for proper assessments. I mean, I, sure, like I understand you have to get your assessments and stuff. It's just, it's not related to me. It's just like um, we're uh, having a, a, a bonfire. And you think that I don't love bonfires? Uh, no, it's not that I don't think you would enjoy the bonfire. It's just a- I am quite proficient in grilling hot dogs. Really? I'll be there shortly. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I just don't- Oh, he hung up. Wait, what is happening? <sighs> that was him finally calling me. You know how every time he comes over, we're always like, Oh, you should call at least or let us know before you're coming over. Well, he did that. It's just, um, he's coming over now. And, uh, you know who is upstairs? And I I'm not emotionally oh. ready to have them meet yet. And I don't think... I, I haven't even told Lizzie anything about him yet because you know the way he is. I, I don't want her to get heartbroken or something. Like, if he acts like he doesn't care about her? Exactly. I completely get that. What do we do? I, I don't know. I tried to tell him it was a bad time, but you know how he is. He didn't care. I gave the excuse about a bonfire and he was like, Oh, I love bonfires. I'm good at grilling hot dogs. So here we are. Help. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I can go upstairs, distract both her and uh, Ennard, because we don't want Ennard to interact with them right now. Yeah, fair enough. I'll distract them. You just do what you need to do with William. Okay. And then, then once he's gone, give me some kind of signal. Send me a text or something, and then I'll let them wander around the house again. Yeah, I mean, that works. Um, just make sure to distract her really well. Like, take her into your bedroom or something where she's not going to be able to hear anything down here. I'll get rid of him as fast as I can. Uh, he just wants to do his typical weekly checkup. You know how it goes. He has me open his face plates and say, ah, and then he's on his way, so. That normally only takes five minutes, so there should be nothing. Okay, okay. Cool. All right, uh, uh, I'm going. All right, uh, yeah, have fun. Just try really hard. Oh, jeez. Woo! <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun! <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, 
Is someone jumping on the bed? <laughs> I am. I thought Edron was going to be up here, but I don't think he's home right now. No, it's a little too early. He normally hangs out with some of his new friends, and right now, I think he's still with them. I see. <laughs> well, that's okay. Do you want to hang out? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, that's what I came up here to do, actually. Well, we should invite Circus Baby, though. She's downstairs all alone. Uh, no, 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 no. She's taking a break right now. She hasn't been feeling too well. She's been trying to nurse her stomach. So right now, she's just downstairs getting some things to settle her stomach. Oh. Well, that's weird. She didn't tell me anything was wrong with her stomach before. She's really good at hiding it. Ah, uh, well, okay. Well, what do you want to do, Freddy? Ooh, why don't we head over to my room, actually? You like bounciness? I paid uh, a few thousand dollars. <laughs> keep walking, keep walking. Uh, uh, let's, okay. let's speed walk, speed walk. Uh, speed walk, okay. You've paid a few thousand dollars for your vet? Yeah, because it's really, like, exotic and really made out of some of the best materials you can get. Whoa, wait, was that the Thor bell? Is somebody here? No, no, no one's here. No one's oh. here, no one's here. Um, okay. <laughs> you were right. This bed is bouncier. I feel like I jumped so much higher. How high am I bouncing? Uh, you're bouncing close to the headboard. Oh, that's so high. <laughs> Whee! Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, I think I'm done bouncing. What do you want to do now? Uh, I got some board games in here. I got things like Monopoly, Yahtzee, uh... Um, I don't know about board games. It takes a lot of my energy to move the pieces. Oh, I, I see. That makes sense. Uh, you like playing video games, right? I think I still got, like, uh, Gregory's DS right here. here. Mm, I don't know. It's just kind of the same thing. It takes a lot of energy to hit the buttons. And sometimes I like watching Gregory play video games, but I've done that a lot as of recent, so... It's like watching a YouTube Let's Play, but instead it's like involuntarily. I, I get it. I get it. It gets boring after a little while. Not to say that Gregory is boring. It's just it's nice when I have somebody to talk to and hang out with instead. We can put on a movie. I can pull out the TV from the closet and I can put on a movie for you. Well, if we're going to watch a movie, shouldn't we just watch one downstairs with Circus Baby? I mean, you have the theater room for a reason. Uh, sometimes it's best to sit on the most comfiest bed in the world. I mean, you see how comfy it is? I mean, it's pretty comfy, but I'm a ghost. I can just float if I want to, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that is true. Uh... Oh, should we go downstairs and go swim in the pool? No, 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 no. Uh, I needed... I need to clean the pool, actually. It doesn't really matter to me. It's not like I can get dirty, so... Ah, uh, that is true, that's true. Why don't you want to go downstairs? Uh, it's not that I don't want to go downstairs. I just think it. It sounds like you don't want to go downstairs. No, 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 no. It's... Is Circus Baby worried that I'm gonna hear her farts? No. <laughs> well, then what is it? She does have the farts, and she's farting all over the place down there, stairs. And she said it's gonna smell so bad, and she's gonna be like trying to hold it as much as she can. Well, I'm already a ghost. What is she gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Let's just go downstairs. Wait, wait, no. Uh, you, you really don't want to go downstairs right now. Why, why are you trying to stop me from going downstairs? What's going on? Uh. Freddy? <clears throat> what's going on? Um. You better tell me or else I'm going to go find out for myself. Uh, it's awkward down there. All right. Well, you left me no choice. Sorry, Freddy. I'm going to go see wait, what's wait. going on downstairs. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, God. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, God. Why can't I grab ghosts? Maybe you just need to think more positive about this circus, baby. Clearly, it is going to go fine. Uh, Glamour Freddy has... Maybe I should talk a little bit quieter. Glamour Freddy is distracting Lizzie, and oh, uh, there's the doorbell. All right, um, I guess let me just go answer it, and you know what? Maybe I can just keep him outside, which would be even better, because I'm pretty sure they're in the bedroom now, so... All right, um, uh... The, Hey, oh. buddy, old pal. Let me just close that right Hello there. Hello to you as well. Uh, what's up? Uh, good to see you. Thanks for the phone call letting me know that of you course. were coming. Because uh, it's appreciated if you could just... I'm glad you found it reasonable. Uh, maybe you could, like, let me know, like, a couple of more hours in advance. That would also be cool. Um, but, uh, hi. I'll see what I can do. Shall we begin? Uh, sure. Um, do you want me to open my faceplates? Or what, what, what would you like to start with? It's moderately... 
cold out here. Perhaps we could go inside. Oh, I I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, uh, Freddy actually Why would that just, not be a good idea? Well, Freddy just ate a lot of chimichangas, and he uh, he farted a lot. It just it smells really bad in there. I wouldn't want to... An animatronic having flatulence. Uh, yeah, uh, um, we are bio-organic, so we can... Eat. I'd like to observe this smell. Uh, I, I just don't think that's... Appropriate. Do, do you really want to smell Freddy's farts? I just, it's, um, it's, it's bad. You, you... When you put it that way, it does not sound entirely savorable, but it exactly. would be useful. Exactly, so, uh, let's just go ahead, um, uh, you want, uh, I You're can... being rude. What do you mean I'm being rude? I, I'm if you to... have guests, it is appropriate to let them inside. <sighs> okay, um, you can come inside, just... Excellent. Just keep your voice down, okay? Maybe, maybe we could just whisper. Uh, you could, um... See how well I'm able to control my volume. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, but why would I need to control my own volume? Yeah, because it's a good idea. Are you hiding something from me? No, I'm not hiding. I'm I'm not I'm not hiding. Is there anything. some sort of secret you don't want me to know about? No, it, it's not that there's a secret. I can we just um how how, how about we just do what you came it here to do? It doesn't smell like flatulence in here at all. Oh well, that's I I opened the windows, so it probably um aired it out. So why was that a concern of yours in the first place? Because it it was smelly in here before, but now it's not, so it, it's fine. Sure. We have big windows, so um. Anyway, shall we shall we get this started? Yes, you know what to do. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. Let me just um. Begin by opening up. Um. Yep. Here's the uh, base plates. Here's the keypad. If you want that. Mm-hmm. Very good. While in this state, we can start asking you some questions. Cool. Uh, what do you want to know? How has your day been? Um, honestly, uh, mildly stressful, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fine for the most part, I, I guess. Have you had any more emotional spurts? Um, actually, uh, well, I think I previously told you about a different version of myself, Scrap Baby. Um, she's apparently an emotional version now, despite her just previously being a animatronic version of myself but uh she came out the other day but she's not exactly scrap baby anymore she wants to be referred to as scrappy and she's like a fixed version of scrap baby if you even know what scrap baby is hmm. creating their own identity interesting well there's actually quite a few um i actually got to go into kind of like my head there's one that's like a little jester guy and uh they're a lot so I'm hoping they don't find their way out, because that's going to be an issue. Hmm. And did that make you feel? How did that make me feel? Sure. I mean, yeah, I've, I've been kind of stressed about it, because the scrap baby emotion wants to find love. But it's kind of awkward, because I'm in a relationship with Glamrock Bonnie, you know, that animatronic you met. Um, and she's kind of jealous of that. And just having an emotional version of myself dating another animatronic feels weird, but I also don't want her dating my boyfriend because that's weird. That is indeed weird. Yeah, so not exactly sure what I'm going to do about that, but um, yeah. You're developing quite well. You can close your faceplates. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, I have inspected them thoroughly. Your abdomen, I see some singe marks there. Have you been conducting maintenance properly? Uh, that was kind of just more of a personal project. I made a teleporter laser gun. Um, Does it teleport lasers, or is it a laser that conducts teleportation? A laser that conducts teleportation. So what is a laser meant to teleport things? Worked. Oh, no. Um, uh, it, nothing. Um, so it didn't work? No, it did It did work. It's just, um... Then why did you say, oh, circus no? Circus baby. Is that who I think it is? I'm really quite interested about this teleportation laser. Um, uh, sorry, it's just, um, Lizzie, I, I'm sorry, I, I should have told you he was coming, but it's kind of an awkward situation. Um, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? But I'm talking to your daughter. This is really awkward. Is this some sort of bizarre malfunction? Dad, is that really you? Dad, look at me, I, I'm down here. Dad! Don't you- Is everything all right? Don't you see me? I, I'm right in front of you. Say something. What are you looking at? Don't you see her? She, she's right there. Uh, um, Lizzie, look. So your ocular sensors are making you see things that do not no, exist. No, I'm- it's, She definitely exists. Trust me, she's standing right in front of you. Lizzie, look. 
He's too reasonable for this, I think. Uh, do you even believe in ghosts? Excuse me? Do you believe in ghosts? Why would I? Oh, I'll take that as a no. See, it's just he doesn't believe, so I don't think he can see or hear you. I, I'm sorry. I, I should have told you he was coming over. I just didn't know how. I didn't want to upset you. Do we need to conduct some reprogramming? I can't believe you didn't tell me anything about this. Why can't he see me? You Fix should really so can. consider Dad! a reboot. I'm perhaps touching you right now. Uh, listen to something. me. I'm right um, here. Perhaps a vacation break. No, I, I want him to see me. I want to talk to him. Sorry, circus baby. I think I know what I need to do. Hello? Have you shut down? It worked. Dad, d do you hear me now? Dad? Y yes, Circus Baby. What is it? No, no, this is, I'm not Circus Baby. I I'm Lizzie. I, it's something I learned how to do. I, I jumped into Circus Baby, and now it's me. I I'm your daughter. I've been waiting a really long time to talk to you. I... I don't even know what to say. Now, is this actually some sort of error you're experiencing, or is this a game? What? No, this isn't a game, Dad. It's really me. I can prove it. Remember when it was my seventh birthday and you bought me the, the purple sheep plushie? I wish I still had it, but I'm a ghost now, so I, I can't really take it near with circus me Circus Baby, what are you doing? Dad, I'm not Circus Baby. I'm Lizzie. Well, well, why won't you listen to me? Evan and I, we really wanted to talk to you for the longest time. If this is a regular error, then somehow your consciousness has... Oh my gosh, Dad, this isn't a stupid error with your stupid animatronics that you've always worked on instead of paying attention to me. I am currently paying attention to you. I'm trying to fix this problem. You seem to think you are two people. I'm not and... two people. Yes, Circus Baby is an animatronic and my soul po possessed her or something. I don't know how it worked. I did it once before and... Does this happen regularly? No, it doesn't happen regularly because typically I don't possess animatronics. Okay, and does this person follow you around? This other what? daughter of mine? Other daughter? No, I am your daughter. Freddy! Tell him! And is Freddy actually here right now, or is he a third person in no, this No, Freddy's here! He was trying to distract me so I didn't talk to you. Freddy! Get down here! I'm right here! You've I'm been right talking here, right to me oh. since I arrived. That Freddy, tell him that I'm Elizabeth Afton and sorry I possessed your friend, but tell him! Apparently, <sighs> this is not circus baby. <sighs> no, if she did what I think she did, the spirit of your actual daughter possessed circus baby. See? Exactly! So you got Frederick in on this joke that you're trying to conduct. Dad! Is this because you don't like our weekly inspections? It's not a joke. Do you not like I'm to share things baby. with me? Do no. you like to keep things hidden from me? Would you rather I just never show up? No, Dad, I just, I miss you Would you rather you I just watch I... from afar? What would you rather I do? Because this I... game does not amuse me. This isn't a game. I just wanted to see you again, Dad. He won't listen. But I thought he missed me as much as I missed him. I don't know exactly what you're trying to do, but perhaps it has worked. Perhaps you have gotten me all scared off so I won't Wait. bother you for the rest of the day. Or perhaps I'll have to conduct even more studies, more tests, and more examinations. But we'll find out soon. That won't be necessary. Oh, I believe it will be necessary. Either by choice or not. So, I'll leave you to the rest of your day to figure out whatever is going on with Circus Baby's head. Good day. No, I... please, just wait. Can't we just talk a little bit? Or... Stop this frivolous game. I'm already leaving. It's over. <sighs> Elizabeth? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't Circus Baby tell me? Because we were afraid this would happen. But Your father doesn't believe in any of magic. He doesn't believe in the other world. He just believes in what is in front of him. Physical things, like machines, biological things. But I told him. I, I proved it to him. I said exactly what he did on my seventh birthday. The present he got me. He should have understood. And... He doesn't believe that because, remember, he was also working on Circus Baby at the same time. He would think that you were probably have memories from no, that. No, he's stuck in his old stupid habits caring more about animatronics than he ever cared about me. And you know what? 
Maybe if you and Circus Baby had been honest to me in the first place, I wouldn't be stuck in this position. I'm out of here! Wait, no. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Oh, my head. Oh, jeez. Uh, wait. Ready? Hey, Where's Circus William? Baby. Where's... Where's Lizzie? What just happened? The worst happened as we thought. Oh my gosh, no. Please don't tell me she did what I think she did. She possessed you. She tried to Ugh. talk to her father through it. Why am I crying? She was crying because her father wouldn't acknowledge her existence. Okay, Lizzie, come on. I can explain everything that just happened. Please just... She's gone. Uh, she metaphorically stormed <sighs> off. Jeez, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I... I should have just been honest with her. Maybe, but I feel like the same thing would have happened. He <sighs> even talked about even doing more psychological tests. Now he's oh, talking about great. reprogramming your head. Oh, look, I'll deal with him a different day. At least he's gone for now. I mean, the fact that he left, maybe Lizzie did hit a nerve and maybe he's just trying to come to terms with it. Maybe, but at the same time, I feel like he's also trying to logically explain everything away. I guess, but... Is he really not going to recognize his own daughter? I think it, what scared him is that he did, and he doesn't know what to do with that information. For the first time ever, he seemed angry and upset. Really? Okay, look, I, I'm going to call Gregory. If Lizzie's not here, then she's either with Evan or with Gregory or both of them, so I, I just want to make sure she's okay. He is so hard stuck in his ways that his body and mind actively rejects seeing a ghost that appears before him. I think that's just how it works with humans. You can't see what you don't believe in. I mean, it even worked on animatronics for a while. Remember when Lizzie didn't show herself to you? The difference is this time she definitely wanted him to see her. He just didn't want to. So until he does, he's not going to.